hello guys welcome to inventory management project tutorial this is our part one this project is basically built in coordinator framework inside this video we will see about the introduction and the final product we are going to develop inside the whole playlist of inventory management project so first of all let's understand about what basically inventory means inventory is a system where we create or manage products brands categories as well as let's say orders also we will manage about the customers or the buyers suppose we are going to create a shop inside that shop we are going to put some products that products basically related with some categories some brands now we are going to actually sell our products to the customers so to keep all the records or all the documentation about the products brands categories customers sales and many more things about the shop is known as inventory management system so this system basically we are going to build inside coordinator framework so what basically coordinator framework means this is a PHP framework by the help of this MVC pattern we are going to create some controller some of the class files some of the models some of the helpers and connect all these things to make inventory management system project so if I back to browser now here as we can see that this is the project this is the project interface we are going to make from our upcoming videos now all about this is login form to enter inside the administrator panel we want to firstly login inside this project let's say that this is the email address we have passed something called abc at gmail.com and password form 126 if I click on sign in these credentials are wrong so if I pass about the valid credentials let's say OWT hub at gmail.com and the password is from 126 if I press sign in now successfully we are logged in inside OWT inventory system project now inside this we can see that this is the dashboard interface here we have several menus inside add me panel something called dashboard categories brands products orders report and inside settings menu we have four sub menus so we are going to work with all these options so inside this dashboard this is only for the notification or for the counters that how many categories products or orders we have inside this our inventory system now here we have warning message something called please configure your site settings before use like profile footer currency product image upload and the, all these configurations so how can we make all these configurations before using this inventory system so back to settings let's say inside first sub menu something called product image so inside this product image we have to make some of the configurations so that these configurations should be used at the time of product creating so let's say we want that suppose we want that the maximum width of the uploaded image should be in 1500 pixel and the height about let's say 800 pixel size let's say that 1024 in kilobytes and I want to upload all these images like PNG JPG and JPEG so if I press submit button so successfully we have configured about the product image settings now let's say that we are going to configure about the second setting let's say currency so what currency we are going to use inside this inventory system a drop down is provided in which all countries has their own currency symbol so we are going to select any of them so let's say for India I'm going to select something called INR so if I scroll to this drop down and here is something called Indian rupees so if I select and submit here so successfully we have selected our currency as INR now we have done two settings now let's say profile details this is all about the logged in admin so we want to show let's say that online web tutor as the admin name and if you want to upload any profile image so if I click on choose file to upload any image and I'm going to select this image open now successfully if I submit this here as we can see that we have updated the admin name as well as the profile photo attached with that now let's say that successfully we have configured about three details if I click on footer text 
if I go here as we can see that copyright now if I pass any name let's say that online web tutor and footer link if I provide the YouTube link click on submit and successfully we have configured that if I back to its footer as we can see that this is the name and behind the name here we have provided the YouTube link so successfully all we have done about the configurations and as we can see that from the top the warning messages has disappeared because we have successfully configured all these settings again back to categories now I am going to create some of the category to manage our products let's add category if I press submit here we have some validation error so let's say that we are going to pass a category and category let's say that electronics press submit successfully we have created one of the category again if I press something called books press submit we have created that also in future if you want to actually change the status of created category we can make as an inactive so how can we make inactive if I go to edit here we have to select called inactive and the submit button but after making inactive this book we are not going to use longer inside these brands as well as inside these products because this category is totally inactive from the list if I again back to edit and if I change to active let's submit successfully we have reconfigured that now go to brands now inside these brands if I add some of the brands and let's say inside electronics I'm going to add let's say Samsung and it is active again if I click on this electronics and let's say that Redmi and press submit successfully we have created two brands inside this electronics also if we want to create let's say books and inside these books let's say that physics is the category or brand I have listed inside this books category press submit successfully we have listed that also if I create one more let's say books and chemistry submit that now let's say that in future if we want to delete some of the category or brand from this list also we want to delete that let's say that category if we want to delete confirm and successfully we have deleted that now let's say that we are going to create some products related with these categories and brands back to product section add product and here we have to provide some of the details now inside this image upload section as we can see that this is the properties actually we have configured from this settings tab now let's say that I'm going to create a product let's say product 1 I am going to choose some of the images so let's say that this is the image I am going to upload so if I click on choose file this is the image I am going to select and let's say that inside books category I want to create that now inside books category here we have brands called physics and now I am going to provide some sample text here so sample text and let's say that amount something called 20 INR and this is the dynamic currency symbol actually we have changed from this settings tab now the current status of this created product should be active so if I press submit successfully we have created that again if I create another product choose one more file this is the image file again for the category like electronics we have two brands click on readme and let's say sample text now let's say that the amount is 30 INR and also let's not 30 this is all about 500 INR submit button so successfully if I go back to the list we have created two books at our store now we are going to order these two products to our our coming customers so how can we make order to them if I go to orders tab now inside this order we have create order button now inside this create order form we have to provide firstly the buyer information like customer information next we have to provide about the product information if you want to give some discount here we have to provide the discount percentage so let's say that I am going to sell our first customer let's say Sanjay email address is something dummy Sanjay at gmail.com mobile number is something dummy value and address something dummy value 
Now again, go here and let's select category. I want to go inside books. Select brand physics. Inside physics, we have product one which we have created inside this products tab. Now what quantity we want to give to our Sanjay customer. Let's say that Sanjay wants to buy two product one means two quantity of this. So the first quantity is of 20 INR and for the second it should be 40. Now let's say that again if I make one more item to them electronics let's say Redmi and this is the product we have created and let's say that I am to give four, four items to them. Also while adding one more items if you want to delete any row we can delete from here. Also let's say add more. Let's say that we are not going to buy or add this item to this customer. Let's say delete. Successfully we have deleted that. Now let's say that I am going to want to give 50% discount to this first customer. And payment mode. Let's say that here we have three modes available called cash, painting and online account transfer. Let's say that our customer Sanjay has chosen about the cash mode. So a status should be active and I am going to create submit button. Now successfully we have created our order. If I back to our order list, these are the details. Inside this list, this is all about buy information. Total products actually Sanjay has bought something called 2 and the total amount he able to pay something called 2040 and the payment status is something on the cash mode. If I go to invoice detail. Now inside this invoice page, as we can see that bill 2, save 2, this is all contains about the customer information, order date and here we have called payment method is cash. Now inside this order summary, we have product 1 and the product 2. Correspondingly we have some price along with these products and the quantity we have called 2 and the 4. So something the total amount we have called 2040 but we have given about the 50% discount to this customer. Now we have only about 1020. So this is the price actually we will receive from this Sanjay customer. So back to our list. So this is all about to manage our products or manage our orders. If I back to reports. Now as we can see that in our products list or product stock we have two products. If you want to get the reports click on more info. This is all about our product information if you want to generate the PDF. If I click on this PDF, successfully we have generated the PDF of our stored products. Now this is all about two products in our inventory system. Also apart from this PDF, if you want to generate Excel, CSP or copy to clipboard any of the operation we can perform. If I back, again let's say that we want to generate reports for these orders. So inside these orders also we want to generate some PDF. Go here. So successfully we have generated. Here we have buy information, contact details as well as the total amount he has built. Back to our admin panel. Now inside this settings tab all we have seen at the starting phase that how can we configure our general configuration to use this inventory system. So this is all about the functionality of inventory management system we are going to make using coordinator framework from upcoming videos where we will start from scratch and build this final products. Also we have if I click here this is all about update profile we can update from the settings profile details also we have called sign out button. Now this is all about our inventory management system project something called demonstration video. From upcoming videos guys we will see and develop such type of inventory system from scratch. So if I click on sign out, successfully we have logged out from our OWT inventory admin panel. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.